everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with a new video. And this video we have a HP laptop. This one is an HP 15-CW0007 model. And this model they come with an AMD Ryzen 3. And the model for the processor is a 2300U processor. Which this one comes with a 12 gig of RAM, DDR4, 1 terabyte of the hard drive, mechanical one. And it's a 15.6 screen. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, disassemble, repaste, replace the hard drive, update the, upgrade the hard drive, RAMs, or remove the battery. So let's get it started. First thing first, you want to flip it over. And you want to remove the three screws on the front end of the laptop on the bottom cover. Right, once you remove the three screws in the front side, there is two hidden screws right on the rubber legs right here on each corner on the back side. On the front side there is nothing. So you want to lift the corner side with a something like a guitar, guitar pick and you're going to see a screw right there. Remove that one. And there's one more in the other side. Right, once you remove both of those, you want to open the laptop like a 45 degree angle. And then you want to grab the guitar pick and you want to stick it in between the bottom and the top cover. And you're going to wiggle it around gently. And you're going to do the side, same thing. And then you want to watch the back side, same thing for the back end. On the corner where the hinges are. Alright. There's a one hidden screw, there are two of them actually, you have to remove both of them. On this one there is only one, but on the other side there is two. So remove these sneaky screws. And then just lift up the bottom cover. So this is the bottom chassis, bottom cover, and there's an air dust filter right here, you can go ahead and clean those. And now down here, you can actually see there's a nice huge heat sink. There's a space for double fan, but they only added one because there is no GPU installed. They could actually go ahead and install a new GPU right here underneath, but they haven't with a VRAM space. In their some version, they do have a um, separated video chip, and that's why they will add the extra uh, fan right here. And they do have the power jack for the new fan if you want to add the secondary fan. And I'm guessing the while you add the second one, it's gonna cut through here, so you have to replace this one too. So it should be different. Down on this side you have two RAMs, 8 gigs and 8 gigs each. These are DDR4 RAMs. The battery is right down here. There is only one screw right there, two screws, and three and four screws holding it. So if you want to remove the battery, you only have to remove one, two, three, four screws. And the battery will just come out easy. If you want to replace the hard drive, the hard drive is being held down by one, two screws. There's one screw right there and the second one right there. So let's go ahead and remove these two screws. Once you remove the screws, first disconnect the hard drive by lifting up this clip right here. This one right here, just lift up. And once you lift up, just remove the ribbon cable. 
Now you can go ahead and lift up the hard drive. Just lift up where you remove the screws and it will just come up. This is a Toshiba hard drive, one terabyte, 5400 RPM. So you can go ahead and replace it. But if you want to replace it, you have to remove the caddy and remove the adapter which comes installed right on top. You put the new one right there. You stick the rubber side down and then put this side down. Put the cable right inside the jack and close the lid. All right, now we're gonna get to the main part which is the CPU which is right here and we're gonna remove the heat sink and we're gonna repaste the heat sink. As we can see the heat sink is really just in the air, there's nothing holding it from here. So we only have to remove these four screws. Once you lift up and uh, remove the screws, just lift up the heat sink. This is very skinny heat sink. So and remember the air is not going through half of it, almost one quarter of them. It's not there's no airflow. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna clean up the die on the CPU and the heat sink. You only need to clean the die, you don't have to clean everything. Once you cleaned up, you wanna grab your new thermal paste. In this case, I'm gonna use an Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste and you're gonna apply two drops, one on this side and one right almost on the other side because the die is kind of big to put just one in the middle so you put two drops one in the one side one on the almost halfway down the other side now you're gonna grab the heat sink and you're gonna place the heat sink right in place grab the screws and put the four screws right in place right and also this is your Wi-Fi board. If you want to upgrade your Wi-Fi board, there's only one antenna that goes. You have your extra USB port right on this side. And there's not much. And USD card reader down here. All right, once you did your repaste, you want to grab the top cover. And you're just gonna put it down straight. And you're gonna push the corners down, every corner. You're gonna put the two screws, uh, screws at the bottom. The black ones goes at the back side. And the rest of the screws, the small ones, they go right in the front. And I hope you guys like this video and it was somehow used for you guys how to upgrade your RAM or hard drive or how to repaint. If you guys have any questions, please ask in the comments. And I'll appreciate if you guys subscribe. And thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to wrap up this one. There we go. And we are all done.